Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Councilmember Ida Nick Miller, and I'm the chair of the Committee on Civil Service and Labor. I'd like to thank my colleague, uh, Ampy Samuels, for allowing me a, a, a quick committee uh, vote to be held on a very important resolution that we introduced, 655, which was first heard at a December hearing. It calls upon the mayor of the city of New York to grant unlimited sick leave to all civilian officers and employees of this great city who are seen, seeking treatment for qualifying World Trade Center conditions. Like their uniformed colleagues, these civilian New York City employees rushed to ground zero on September 11, 2001, and in the ensuing days, weeks, and months, helped in rescue recoveries and cleanup efforts. Like their uniformed colleagues, these civilian employees deserve unlimited sick leave in order to get the treatment that they need for the diseases that they got while working at ground zero. It's time for the city to take care of its own, and that includes those who selfishly risk their lives at ground zero. I now ask the clerk for a vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on civil service and labor, resolution 655, Chair Miller. I vote aye. Drum. Aye. King. Commissioner Spain, my vote. Chair. Um, I just want to, I want, first I want you to add me on to this resolution. And I just want to add for the record that it comes a point in time, we are all city workers. And we all have a commitment to show up each and every day to do what we can to protect New York, serve New York, more importantly, provide for our families. And I think at a day and age when we hit a, hit a wall in this world where we were attacked, that we still have New Yorkers who are struggling to get health care or have time off without losing any money to be able to provide for their families. I think it's unconscionable that anybody who's sitting in an administration think that this should be a negotiated conversation as opposed to just taking care of the people, especially our union brothers and sisters who showed up when we didn't show up. We, 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 people in New York didn't go downtown to the World Trade Center. But if you were down there helping New York get itself together, you should be treated as such. You should be, treat, you, you should be treated special, not that you got to negotiate your life again. So I'm asking you to continue to push the mayor and push the administration to do right by our New Yorkers, and I'm voting yes on this resolution and asking everybody in the city of New York to look out for our first responders and everyone who helped us get through 9-11. Thank you, and I vote aye. Myself. Yes. Adams. I echo the sentiments of my colleague from the Bronx. Please add my name to this resolution. I vote aye. Ulrich. Uh, permission to explain my vote. Commission granted. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I want to be added as a co-sponsor to the bill and also echo my support for the first responders, civilian and uniform, uh, who answered the call to help their fellow New Yorkers during our darkest time, uh, during and after 9-11. And I think, quite frankly, we haven't done enough to help those people get tested and treated for the diseases that they're now being diagnosed with. So we have to do more to help our fellow New Yorkers who were there for us when we needed them, and I'm proud to vote in favor of this resolution. By vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, resolution has been adopted by the committee. from December and the vote and we're going to begin we're going to, yeah, closing it out. Ready? Okay. <laughs> 